Hey everyone, so today I have sort of a different video going on. I explained on Twitter a couple days ago, I was like, you guys, I just found this box of super old makeup in my storage. So I was at our storage unit and then I was like going through some stuff and you know, just getting rid of things that I didn't need. And I came across this box just full of old makeup and I was like, holy crap, like there is some really old stuff in here. And most of it is my mom's makeup and I don't know why it was in there. But anyway, I thought it'd be really fun to show you guys like the old makeup. It's really just old stuff that they I don't really make anymore and I love stuff like this I'm not gonna keep it or use it obviously because it's just really old and why would I use it but I thought it would be fun before I throw it away to just kind of talk about it so today I'm just gonna be talking about face products these are all just different face products blushes powders and let's see I'm just gonna randomly pull stuff out these are physicians formula powders let's see what the name is multi-colored highlighter powder palette okay so they still make powder palette products but they don't look like this this is very you know very basic and it comes in like you wouldn't even know this is physicians formula like I don't even remember this packaging but I do remember these little mosaic thingies so I guess they didn't really get rid of it they just kind of revamped it this one is also a multi-colored so okay this is like their I think this is a translucent this is supposed to be translucent so just a basic translucent powder and I know they still make this one because I have seen this and I remember when I was younger my mom used to have like everything physicians formula I know she was obsessed with it so. next up we have some max factor powders and I know they don't even sell max factor in the states anymore I remember like vaguely growing up like as a kid um, when I would go shopping with my mom I remember seeing max factor like at Kmart they used to sell it with all the Revlon the Maybelline and stuff like that but they don't sell it here anymore and that sucks because I love their 2000 calorie mascara but anyway Anyway, this says it's translucent medium powder so lasting performance loose powder so yeah I guess it's just a basic loose powder there's still a lot of product in here looks like my NYC so there goes that then we have some Neutrogena here I don't think these are very old because I know that they still have this maybe they are older but they still make them and they look just like this the same packaging and these are the healthy skin blends sheer highlighting blush and this is the translucent oil control powder so these are just kind of like compacts and I know they still make these, so that's not, these aren't very exciting. And I know you guys have probably seen these if you are a fan of Neutrogena. Let's see what this is. Revlon Skin Lights Natural Light Palette. So that's cool. I've never even seen this before. It kind of has like a shimmery pink champagne. And this is a bronzer. And then these are two face powders. That's pretty cool to have a, like a little palette of everything. I really like that idea. I know they have the Skin Lights Illuminator and the bronzer, like the liquid. But I know that was like a re-promote. And I didn't remember those at all when they came out. I thought they were completely new. So um, I know Skin Lights is a thing of the past and I wasn't, I didn't really hear about it until they tried to bring it back. So but. moving on to blush, I actually remember this. This was mine. I bought this like, I want to say, I don't even know, maybe like freshman year of high school. And I heard about this from Emily Noel 83 And it's like the CoverGirl Cheekers blush, but this is like a little palette one. They used to make these. They had like different colors. And this was the first one I ever bought. And it was one of the last because I hate these like I'm just gonna be honest with you guys I do not like covergirl blushes I think they smell way too strong they smell disgusting like I don't know it still has the scent and this is old as heck like it is it's like almost Noxzema I know that they make um covergirl products do have I want to say Noxzema in them or something similar to it but it just ends up smelling it smells like my grandpa's shaving cream this I don't remember so this was probably my mom's this is Neutrogena skin clearing trio it has salicylic acid blemish treatments and it looks like you get a treatment which is like something sort of gooey but I guess you know hit pan on it so it must have been good and then this is a concealer and a powder so I've never seen this until now so I don't think they make this anymore if you know comment down below because I really have no idea I don't really wear Neutrogena makeup but I guess that's kind of cool to have something that treats your acne while you're wearing makeup so then I have another little blush this is a L'Oreal Paris true match super blendable blush and this looks like the shade baby blossom it looks really nice um, I don't remember this so probably wasn't mine and I don't know I think they still make these but they're bigger I want to say the pan is bigger this looks this looks like a little baby blush it's so small I think that they still make a true match um, I used to wear the foundations but they totally changed the lightest shade the color is like way too orange for 
me now so I don't wear True Match anymore but I know my mom has always been a fan of True Match and it works for her and yeah this must have been hers but I don't remember them being so small this is like a little baby size then I have another little blush here this is Almay Hypoallergenic and it says it's a cheek highlighter oh it's a highlighter it says limited edition on it and I guess the shade is called Morning Dew so it looks like a cream product and it does look kind of shimmery so I guess it's kind of like a cheek blush highlight thingy. If you use this, comment down below. Let us know how you liked it because I can't really tell from it being so old. But the color does look very nice, so who knows? Maybe this was a good product. But yeah, Almay, Almay Hypoallergenic going on right there. And then last but not least is this Victoria Secret blush. This is the Sexy Cheeks Mosaic Blush Powder, and it's called Mosaic Pink. It actually looks really pretty. I like the shades going on. So there's what that looks like. has a few different shades, and they look very nice. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. Let's see how it goes. Looks really pigmented. Feels very dry, but then again, it is pretty old. And there we go. Kind of patchy, but you know, can't give it too much of a hard time. Okay, so that's everything that I have for you today. I'm planning on breaking this kind of video up because I have so much makeup that I have to get through and I don't want this video to be like half an hour long, so I'm going to break it up into a few little videos here. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to call them yet, but it is Thursday, so I could do like throwback Thursday makeup style. I don't know what to call this, but I'm going to come up with some little name because this is going to be like a video, like a series, I guess you could say. And um, I kind of like divided everything up into eye makeup I have lipstick lip gloss and this was like the face part of the video so. if you ever use any of these old makeup products comment down below and let us know what you thought of them if they were good back in the day if they were bad if you loved it if it was like a holy grail like you have to let me know because most of this stuff I don't really remember so that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for requesting it because it's actually really fun I didn't think I didn't really know how to go about making this video because I'm like okay we're talking about old makeup here who's gonna watch this but apparently you guys wanted to see it so here we are talking about old stuff and it's actually pretty fun so I hope you all enjoyed this video and as always thank you so much for watching